So I just saw this in my news feed and it really came as a shock. Apparently uh, one of Marilyn Manson's ex-girlfriends actually got bulletproof glass on her windows because she feared an attack by the Satanist who supposedly became a Christian uh, attacking her family. You know, this is, this, is, this is what happens. You know, do I think that Marilyn Manson got saved? I want to think he got saved. I want to believe he got saved. Uh, but if her, if her girlfriend is having this much fear, there's some doubts that should be, should be raised. And obviously this happened when he was still, you know, a professing Satanist. You know, he claimed he claims to be an atheist, but uh, he was he was a Satanist. And I always like to say this is just an example of the corrupt fruit that the Church of Satan produces. Uh, Satanism is a that it's just that a satanic cult. And this is the kind of fruit they produce, you know, abuse. And this is one of his ex-girlfriends saying that she got bulletproof windows and steel doors in her house in case Marilyn Manson attacks her family. Like physically, not just verbally, but actually like physically comes and tries to do harm. I'm gonna read this article. Uh, Wood said, oh sorry, her name is, uh, what's her name? Her name is uh, Rachel Wood, that's what her name is. Yeah, Evan, or Ev yeah, Evan, Evan Rachel Wood, that's her name. Uh, Wood said she ramped up her home security after she accused Manson of abuse, Daily Mail reported. In court papers obtained by DailyMail.com, she said she fears that Manson would harm her family. The actress said it prompted her to move from Los Angeles to Nashville, the Daily Mail reported. Okay, that's the kind of uh, level of trauma that the Illuminati Satanist Marilyn Manson inflicted on her. Okay, again, did he get converted? I hope so. I really want to think so. But, you know, this still has to be called out. Continuing. Evan Rachel Wood said she installed bulletproof windows, steel doors, and a security fence around her Los Angeles home because she was afraid that her former fiancé, the singer Marilyn Manson, would attack her family because she accused him of abuse, DailyMail.com reported, citing legal documents it had obtained. In papers filed in a Los Angeles court in March, the actress said she had become very concerned about the safety of her 8-year-old son, Jack, since she accused Manson of grooming and abusing her in February, Daily Mail reported. I honestly don't blame her. Uh, continuing. Manson, whose real name is Brian Warner, has since February been a subject of domestic subject of domestic violence investigation, which was opened by the LA County Sheriff's Department after Woods' accusation. Since then, multiple women have publicly accused Manson of physical and sexual assault. In the documents, Manson said the pending investigation and a, sorry, in the documents, Woods said the pending investigation and a human trafficking accusation prompted her to ramp up security in her LA home, adding that she also considered getting attack dogs and security at night, according to the Daily. Uh, in February, actress Esme Belenko, Belenko accused Manson of human trafficking, sexual assault, and battery. Woods' document, as published by DailyMail.com, did not name the person who made the human trafficking allegation. But, you know, to be honest, given the corrupt fruit that Satanism produces, you know, wouldn't surprise me one bit, honestly. Continuing. In documents, Wood, who referred to Manson as her as the alleged offender, wrote, quote, I am extremely afraid of the alleged offender. I have suffered severe traumatic physical and emotional injury at his hands, and I'm afraid he will seek retribution against me for uh, for terrifying but for terrifying sorry, for testifying by harming me, my son, and members of my family. I in my experience, the alleged offender is very uh, re retali retaliatory retaliatory, that's how you say it, and always made it clear that he would ruin my life, she wrote, the dailymail.com reported. Now, that is just an example, okay? She was afraid because he was very retaliatory. And he, you know, that is the example of this kind of, you know, abuse of fruit that comes from the church of Satan. Because Satanism, you see Satanism, and again, they'll just claim, well, we don't worship Satan. We're just a bunch of atheists who just call ourselves Satanists, but we don't actually believe in Satan. They worship Satan, okay? Seriously, what kind of brain dead logic is that where we don't worship Satan, we're just atheists, but we're going to call ourselves the Church of Satan. Yeah, they worship Satan. They just, just another cover. Okay, Satan doesn't care how much you, doesn't care how you worship him. Just as long as you worship, just as long as you're not worshiping God, he's happy pretty much. But uh, this is the example of the fruit that comes from it. Physical abuse and literally fearing for her life because he would make threats and would actually say, I'm going to ruin your life. Finally, continuing in the article. Uh, Wood said that in documents she held a house in Nashville, Tennessee, and decided to move there with her son full time because her ability to function and maintain safety in a long term living situation in Los Angeles is unattainable. DailyMail.com reported. She also said that she had been induated, in, 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 sorry, again, not good at reading on a computer. I do have a. Uh, problems reading on a computer and also I do have it. I haven't, I haven't mentioned this in other videos, but I do have a slight reading disability. It's just a thing I've grown up with all my life, but just bear with me. Uh, in, inundated. 
uh, with death threats from Manson's fans since her allegations, DailyMail.com reported. Quote, believe, they believe, I believe that me and our son are, are significantly safer in Tennessee and we are where we are far away from the alleged offender, active criminal active criminal case, the alleged offender's network of fanatic supporters, and the paparazzi, she added, the DailyMail.com reported. So his fans are literally sending her death threats because she testified against them. You see, this is what happens. That's why I say it is some of these celebrities, they build up a cult of personality. And this is, again, the, the fruit that comes from the church of Satan, sending people death threats because they just spoke against someone you like. You know, this is what happens. This kind of, this satanic spirit comes up because again, they're a bunch of devil-possessed Satanists. So when someone speaks against their idol, they get all mad and start sending death threats. You know, personally, if I was in that situation, I'd start buying some guns. And if they tried to come to my house and threaten me, I'd shoot him dead. Well, that's just too harsh. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to defend your family. You know, I do, I do believe in self-defense. I'm not like some kind of pacifist who thinks, oh, you just can't defend yourself. You just gotta, you know, get down and rebuke their devils. No, if some Satanist tries to hurt me, I'm gonna take him down. I'm gonna shoot him dead if I have to, you know? It's called self-defense. It's called defending yourself from bodily harm. If that's too real for some people to take, you might want to just move out of, you might want to just move to somewhere like North Korea where you don't have the right to defend yourself. Just go there. And, and by the way, I'm not American, by the way. I, I don't live in America. I'm from Canada. Born in Russia, live in Canada. Uh, but this is the fruit that comes from Satanism. Just to get back on topic, this is the fruit that comes from, from the Church of Satan. This kind of abuse and death threats towards anyone who criticizes the idol, Marilyn Manson. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Remember, you know, if, if the fruit is bad, the root is bad. You know, you know, I, I don't agree with Pastor Jason Cooley on everything, but he is right. If the root is bad, the fruit is bad. And, you know, all they that hate me love death. Again, in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. And the Satanism loves death. Satan loves death. And this is the fruit that comes from the church of Satan. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.